What's going on, everybody? Nick Trujillo here, IFBB Pro. Wow. I'm covering the Arnold Classic 2019 Classic Physique Division for the Generation Iron Team. And wow, what a prejudging we just saw. Amazing. Um, the top six guys all brought their A packages. Um, it was exactly what I called out for, for the pre-show. Um, George Peterson, again, was the front runner, of course. Um, he came in absolutely picture perfect, nailed conditioning head to toe. Um, I don't see him even having a chance of losing this show just because of his overall package, the posing, the presentation. He doesn't have any weak body parts. He, he's literally muscle from head to toe. Um, number two, you do have Steve Lazarus pushing him for first place. But don't get me wrong. Steve has an exceptional physique from the front, from the side. Even from the back, he's very good. But when you stand next to George, he, he, he exploits a lot of holes in your physique because his backside, George, on George, is literally flawless. And then Steve's backside, it's lacking the depth that it needs. It needs more thickness, it needs more roundness to it, it needs more uh, width to it. it. Just It's not as matured as George. He's a seasoned veteran in this sport. Don't forget, he was a bodybuilder at one point. He has the muscularity level that not a lot of these guys in this lineup carry yet because he has experience. And that's where it really shows. It's the dense, hard muscle tissue just from years of pounding the weights. And then third place, third, th fourth, fifth, and sixth is a toss-up. It could go any way direction with these guys right now between uh, Courage, Opera, um, you have Keon, and then you have uh, Khalid, and then you have Ricky Mo um, Moten, who is Jeremy Buendia's client. Um, who I've been in touch with both of them because I'm friends with Jeremy came up exceptionally well off the, call the call outs. He was in the second call out the first time around and he brought himself all the way back up to a potentially a third place in the Arnold Classic 2019 first time ever. So to be very interesting to see where he lands up and then obviously Keon Pearson brought his package looked exceptionally well um, could have been tighter though. I think I think third fourth fifth sixth all were pretty equal as far as conditioning goes. Um, you have Khalid, who um, has a little bit of a different look to him as far as conditioning goes. He's more of that thin skin, um, uh, really separated guy. But you could see in some shots he was just not 100%. But overall, I think these top six guys all brought their A game. Um, Courage Opera and... Um, and Keon have very, very uh, similar physiques. Uh, Keon's a little more thickly muscled across the top. Um, both can do the vacuum poses. Um, both, both guys have exceptionally physiques. It could go any way right now, honestly. I think whoever brings it tonight to the night show is going to be rewarded heavily for it. Um, I think it makes a big difference right now if they can carry their conditioning all the way through to the night show. I think George is walking off with first. I think Steve is walking off with second. And then the battle's going to be between third to six, which will be very interesting to see. Um, my upsets of the show were Wesley Vizzers. Um, unfortunately, he didn't bring it. You know, he, he really needed to bring this show to, the, to, to his attention to make it, to, like, treat it like the Olympia. And, and battle for the first place positioning like it's the last show on earth. And to show people that he can stand up to the rest of these guys because he deserves to be. And he failed to do that. Um, Ponce Pierre. I think was left out. I think he was one of the guys that I had in the first, you know, top six could have been. I think he was heavily conditioned, but you can see his flaws when he's exposed next to the rest of these guys. You know, he's going to have that, that, that demanding physique on stage where it's very uh, tapered, uh, broad shoulders. He doesn't have that physique. He's very round and, and narrow featured from the front. Um, has a lot of muscle. Needs more back thickness and width for sure. Um, to compete with the rest of these guys in the lineup. Um, honestly, the rest of the lineup was very, very weak. Um, I don't think those guys brought their A game for the Arnold Classic. I really don't. I think it was his top six people, and then Beyonce could have been seventh, and that's about it. And the rest of the lineup needs to be more conditioned. You guys need more muscle. It's literally like light, like like day and night difference between the physiques from the top six, seven guys to the rest. Um, I saw a couple really tall guys there. Um, excuse me, I don't know your names, but if they fill out their physiques, they're going to be exceptionally well 
and a major threat to these top six guys. Um, so shout out to the taller guys. I know how you feel. But overall, I think the prejudging went exceptionally well. Um, the posing was very good for the for the prejudging. Um, they did it a little, a little different. They brought everyone out and did all the poses, and then they did call-outs after that, then they did comparisons. So it was ran a little different, which I wasn't used to, um, but I liked it. It worked. And as far as the call-outs go, I agree with everything they did. Um, I think George deserves first place. Steve's physique is just flawless. I think he, he looks amazing for how young he is. Uh, his waist, if you guys have a chance to go look at his pictures, is like non-existent. Um, and then three through six, guys, you've got to battle it out. If you're watching this, Hold the conditioning. Improve for tonight. Don't go eat that cheeseburger or french fries and drink that soda. Hold tight. It's going to be a battle tonight. They're going to look at you guys again. This is the new hot division. They want the top guys to be up there. They want the best guys winning. So show the head judges that you guys want it. And that's my advice for you guys coming from a, a, a veteran pro. Um, but this is Nick Tregilli signing out. And thank Generation Iron for covering the, the 2019 Arnold Classic. Classic prejudging.